Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So I picked up another Kaiser and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing for you guys since it just came in today. And let's just get straight into it. I'll be using one of my Grail knives to unbox. This is the Berg Blades Slim Mini, one of my favorite knives. But we're not here to see that one. I did uh, an unboxing on this knife as well, if you guys wanna see that. I'll leave a, le a link up in the corner if you guys wanna check it out. But here is the, if I can get into it. Oh, so excited I forgot to cut the edges of the box where it's taped. I believe that's all of it. So we'll just get right into it. I believe there's packaged peanuts in here. Yes, which is not a problem. Uh, just so you guys know, I picked this up from White Mountain Knives. Uh, lately I've been purchasing from them because they just have just a really, really good selection and their shipping is awesome, at least from my experience. So here is the box. You guys can see the Urban Buoy by Kaiser. 154cm steel. It's got the natural micarta, I believe. Um, just a really, really cool knife. It caught my eye and I just I had to get it. And I believe the action should be really good since there is a cutout. I was gonna say the box isn't velvety like the higher end model Kaisers, but that's fine. Still good packaging. Get a nice velvety pouch with, you know, your typical brochure and cleaning cloth. So no sticker. I will be amazed one day when there will be a sticker, but I can be patient with that, but here is the knife itself right there. It's a really, really cool, small little knife. You guys know I like the small knives. And just wanted, just had to have it. Like I said, I, I saw the photo of it and I just, I loved the look. So there is the knife up close. Looks really, really good. Got the natural micarta full liners, so I'll definitely be customizing it soon. You have a deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible. So good for the lefties out there. The micarta is very, very nicely done. No fraying anywhere. Just looks really, really good. It's nice and cold too, fresh out of the mailbox. Uh, a very generous amount of jimping there on the spine of the blade. And a, a neat little Little deployment hole, different shape than your regular shape. You do have a lanyard hole up here. You have two standoffs, again full liner, so it is a liner lock. And again, not crazy big, as you can see it fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, I'll throw some specs up on screen, just so you guys can get a, a quick gist of what's going on here. And the hole is the only form of deployment. Again, 154cm steel, so really, really good steel. Let's check out the action. Well, let's see the centering. Mm, I'd say it's perfect. Maybe it's a hair over to the pocket clip side, but just, just barely. So let's see what this thing's all about. Okay, <laughs> my fault. There we go. So the detent is, okay, so it's just a little wiggle to close it, but the detent's pretty, pretty, stiff but not a bad thing but it flies out no problem I can spidey flick this easily let's check out the thumb action okay Maybe if I put it a little bit higher oh yeah no problem at all to deploy this with thumb or the finger but there it is in its opened state it looks really really good quite a bit of oil we'll wipe that off really quick just to get that coating off because I want to do a cutting test here. So a nice satin finish on the blade itself. There is the designer's logo. I don't know who the designer is, but I think it looks really, really good. Great size, surprisingly comfortable. And again, it's just, it's a neutral design. So it's no surprise that it feels good in hand. I'd say it's a four and a half. So it just, it just barely comes off the pinky back here. Um, but it is comfortable. You can choke up if you need to in this little sharpening choil area, but there's really no need. Really comfortable, reverse grip. 
Oh yeah, no problem. And let's check out how sharp this knife is. Got my paper here. I haven't been disappointed at all with Kaiser sharpening, and there it is. You guys can see it's very sharp, even to the tip. So, very, very sharp. Stubby little blade. Get that out of the way. But yeah, there it is. I'm really, really liking it so far. I knew I was going to. It's usually I, I shouldn't do that. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, where you expect the knife to be amazing and then it's not, but really, really nice. It's riding on bearings. Really like that action. Not drop shutty, but just a little bit of wiggle. It gets it closed. And that detent is set very nicely. You can see it sucks it right in. So again, a little on the stiff side, the detent, but it's kind of good because it makes that blade fly out really, really well. I do like how the jimping goes into the liners up here on the top. So I, I do like that design. I know Benchmade does that where it's in the liners and it just kind of vanishes visually. But then when you need it and you put a little bit of pressure, it grips into that, that jimping really, really well. And you do have some on the back here. So that's really nice. So let's do a quick size comparison to some popular knives. I'm sure you guys have or experienced. Here is the mini bug out. So probably say three quarters of an inch shorter. So again, not a big blade, but I think this would be great in a fifth pocket or just, uh, you know, the, the lighter wear, basketball shorts, sweaters, or sweat pants, et cetera, that kind of stuff. But there it is against the pair of three lightweight. So yeah, inch, a little, a little over an inch compared to the pair of three. But there it is, the Kaiser Urban Buoy. Again, let me know what you guys think of this down below. I always appreciate his input. And again, if you guys picked one up, let me know what your thoughts are on it, if you guys already got it in hand. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys on the next one.